Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to take a close look at the Shar Pei dog breed. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Origin and History The Sharpei is an ancient breed, dating back more than 2000 years to China's Han Dynasty. Sharpei means, sand skin, referring to the rough texture of the breed's coat. Sharpei likely shares a common ancestor with the Chow Chow, which also has a blue-black tongue. They were nearly wiped out during the mid-20th century by the communist government. However, breeders in Hong Kong and Taiwan were able to preserve the breed and rebuild their numbers. Matt Go Law, a breeder from Hong Kong who introduced Sharpei to American breeders in 1973. Sharpei served as guard dogs, hunters, fighters, workers, and companions for peasants and farmers. The Chinese Sharpei was recognized as a breed by the AKC in 1992 and its 134th breed. As always, the pros are up first, ideal dog for apartment life, affectionate towards owner, moderate exercise requirements, great watchdog, will protect the family, quiet, doesn't bark much, not needy, can be left alone for reasonable periods. The Char Pei's grooming requirements are moderate, low shedding coat. Char Pei is a medium-sized, compact dog who can make a good travel companion. Char Pei's can make good family dogs when properly trained and socialized. Now it's time for some cons. Not advised for first-time dog people. Not a hypoallergenic breed. Char Pei does have a tendency to be stubborn. Not recommended for families with young children. Difficult to train and many potential health issues. Possibly too independent for some owners. Sensitive skin is prone to infections, allergies, etc. More likely to suffer health issues. Can be aggressive to other dogs and animals. Interesting facts. The ancient Chinese originally bred Shar Pei to guard the royal palace and protect the royal family. Shar Pei is also known as the sharkskin dog, the oriental fighting dog, the Chinese bulldog, or the oriental gladiator. Shar Pei's were bred to have so many wrinkles for protection against attacks and bites. By 1978, the breed was named by the Guinness Book of Records as the world's rarest breed, with only 60 remaining. Shar Pei's tongue is a blue-black color, and the only other dog have this color tongue is the Chow Chow. Some also thought the blue-black tongue warded off evil spirits when the dog barked. The dark-colored tongue apparently made these guard dogs look more ferocious. Breathing can be a little difficult for the dogs, so they have trouble running long distances, tend to snore, and get overheated easily. Appearance. Medium-sized dogs, large flat heads, a wide muzzle and a blue-black tongue. They also have small and sunken dark eyes, and little high-set triangular ears. The older, traditional shape from China is referred to as the bone mouth variety. They are taller, slimmer and have much fewer wrinkles. The westernized variety is referred to as the meat mouth and is much stockier, wrinklier and has a wider, fleshier head. If its muzzle is heavily padded, the Shar Pei is known as meat mouth. If its mouth is less padded, it is known as a bone mouth. There are three main coat types which you are likely to come across. Horse coat. These dogs have a harsh, horse hair style, coat. These dogs are very wrinkly as puppies, but as they get older the wrinkles largely disappear apart from around the face. Brush coat. These dogs retain their puppyish look into adulthood and they tend to keep more of their wrinkles. They are normally a little less active than horse coats. Bear coat. The bear coats are fluffy little creatures with a top coat which is longer than one inch. These dogs are not currently recognized by the Kennel Club, but they are probably the cutest type. All three coats shed, with the brush and bear coats shedding the most. Shar Pei is a medium-sized dog which is typically around 18 to 20 inches tall. Their weight will usually be around 45 to 60 pounds. Available color include black, blue, brown, cream, fawn, red, and apricot dilute. They gives birth to four to six puppies on average. The Shar Pei canines have a fairly average lifespan of about 8 to 12 years. Temperament. Shar Pei's were bred at one point to be aggressive, to other animals and even to people. Their role as a watchdog and pit fighter meant that it was beneficial to have a strong temper and a confident demeanor. 
This is good in the sense that they will be protective of their owner and they are often very loyal pets. It is very important to socialize them as early as possible because they can be aggressive towards strangers and other dogs. Grooming. A Sharpe has low to moderate grooming requirements. Ears should be properly cleaned on a regular basis so that the risks of any ear infections are minimized. Trimming of nails should also be carried out on a frequent basis. Shedding. Sharpe canines are known to shed their fur on a seasonal basis. These pooches will shed a lot once the shedding period starts which occur at least twice every year. To control and limit the shedding process, regular brushing of their coat is highly recommended. Cost. These pups don't come cheap. On average a Sharpe puppy will cost $1,000 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $750 and $1,800. The average price of a Sharpe puppy in India is around 40,000 to 50,000 rupees. The price will vary depending on the breeder location, dog's bloodline, color, and age among other things. Exercise and trainability. The exercise requirement of these canines is fairly mediocre. For an experienced and skilled owner, training a Shar Pei is not that hard of a task. The Shar Pei is a fairly quick learner and its retention power is also quite decent. Ensure they can interact with other dogs of various shapes, sizes and breeds. Try to enroll your puppy in a training class where they will be around new dogs and new humans at the same time. Make sure there are plenty of positive interactions with other dogs and humans. They have sensitive ear canals, so water should not get into their ears, in order to avoid infection. Practice positive reinforcement rather than punishment-based training. This canine is happy to learn new things like new commands and tricks from its owner, but it is important to start training this pooch from an early age. Daily slow-paced walks for about 30 minutes or so in a park or an open area are enough. Some light-hearted play sessions should also be included in their exercise schedule. Shar Pei is a fairly intelligent canine that possesses decent learning and problem-solving skills. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Corin, Shar Pei is ranked 51. They understanding of new commands 25 to 40 repetitions and obey first command 50% of the time or better. Most Shar Pei canines do not enjoy swimming or playing in the water. Generally this pooch does not like to get wet. Barking. Shar Pei canines do not bark a lot, in fact, this is a fairly silent breed. These pooches only vocalize when they want their owner's attention or when they are looking after their homes. Apart from this, they don't tend to bark all that much. Weather and climate. Shar Pei has poor tolerance for heat and high temperatures. It is affected by heating issues if left outside the house under the direct heat of the sun during the summer. Shar Pei's tolerance to cold is below average at best. This canine may thrive under moderately cold weather conditions. It is definitely not well suited for extremely chilly and low temperature areas. Friendliness. These canines are not considered highly suitable for small kids. They generally don't tolerate all the quirks and antics of a small child. If these pooches are properly trained and introduced to a lot of children at young age, then they can become comfortable around kids of all ages. Shar Pei canines are not known to get along that well with other dogs. Some of them may also act a bit aggressively when encountering new or strange pooches. Normally, these canines' pooches remain fairly friendly and warm with cats. They don't have a lot of problems in mixing with the members of the feline family. But proper guidance and early socialization with various household pets and other animals are recommended. These canines are not known to get along that well with strangers. They generally remain highly reserved and quiet when meeting someone new. They can also be fairly aggressive with the strangers, if they are poorly trained. Adaptability. A Shar Pei is a fine apartment dog and adjust really well if all its exercise needs are properly fulfilled on a regular basis. They are only recommended to a skilled and knowledgeable owner who understand the psyche of a canine. Shar Pei is a pretty independent and stubborn breed that requires the constant guidance of an experienced owner. Without proper training, these pooches can turn out to be highly aggressive and ill-natured. Novice or first-time owners who will most likely struggle when it comes to properly raise and maintain this breed. These canines don't mind staying alone for a few hours. If left alone for an extended period, then they might become a bit bored, frustrated, and demotivated. This can lead to the development of various bad habits like excessive barking, furniture chewing, and some other destructive traits. 
Hence, it is not advised to continuously leave a Char Pei all alone for long periods of time. Guard Dog Char Pei canines do make pretty good guard dogs. The loose skin enables the dog to keep fighting even if another animal has grabbed hold of their skin. They also have the right amount of aggression that is required to be a decent guard dog. These pooches have great protective instincts for their loved ones and efficiently protect its family members. Apart from being a good guard dog, a Char Pei also makes a fairly decent watchdog. Drooling. The Char Pei canines are moderate droolers. They have the tendency to drool quite heavily after drinking their water or when they are excited. On most of other occasions, these pooches are not known to slobber all that much. Health issues. Most common health problems are retinal dysplasia, glaucoma, entropion, gastrointestinal disorders, respiratory problems, cardiovascular issues, ear problems, and skin infections. If your heart is set on a this breed, then find a puppy from bone mouth parents. Have you had any experience with Sharpay? Tell me in the comment section. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.